My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> oh, that is a shame. video uh, today we got some oil oil filter and what I believe is the new uh, dry sump tank so let's open it up and see if we can get this thing running villains. Pretty big box here. It's like uh, untombing a mummy here. Tank here. Looks, looks to be in one solid piece. Oil still full. We're ready to go. Drop it in. Oh, that's tight. It's got a good seal. Needs a little cleaning. All right, well, looks like we have a pretty good match. So. Guess there's nothing to do now but uh, get the car jacked up and uh, Start draining the oil out of the pan. There's two drain plugs. We'll do that and then uh, make sure everything's cleaned out. Get this installed, fill it up, start it, see what happens. What's up guys? We're under here taking off our filter and breaking loose the bolts on the oil pan. I hope these are supposed to be about 22 pounds torqued. It's not gonna splash me in the face with the water. water. Oh, terrible. That's gross. We had a bit of a milkshake. You're not supposed to have water in your motor like that. I feel pretty guilty that I ran it already for a minute. 
Hopefully it'll be okay. If not, we can always rebuild it. Just like the pyramids. You look very comfortable down there. My neck is a little hurting. I feel like I have taco neck syndrome, but it's okay. <laughs> Just got some SAE 30 I had laying around for my lawnmower. We're just trying to purge the lines a little bit, clean it out. Figured uh, it's better than nothing. Make sure all the water's out of there. Seems to be doing the job. A good job of making a mess. When in doubt, blow it out. Sounds like a win to me. Alright, so while the oil's draining, we'll go ahead and let as much of the milky oil drain out as possible. And we'll just take that time to go ahead and install our new oil tank. So you grab that and we'll get started. All right, so this uh, inner wheelhouse was already damaged, but I had to take it off because this bracket here was kind of uh, not lining up right. And then if you come in here, you can see that it shifted when it got hit too. It looks like it got pushed way up because the bolts aren't lining up there. So we'll loosen those all up and try and get it back to where it belongs so we can mount everything in the right way. All right, we got this uh, oil canister buttoned up. All the uh, bolts back in the oil pan, new filter on, filled the filter up to the top with fresh oil. And uh, we're just gonna use the uh, synthetic blend here, the cheaper stuff, because I plan on changing this after about maybe 10 or 15 minutes of running it. Just flush it out and then we'll put the full synthetic back in it. So it calls for about nine, nine and a half quarts. So I'm gonna put nine in here and go from there. Okay, so it should say we're a little full because I haven't ran it yet, which looks like so. Well, actually it looks about right on the bottom line. Should be good. Like I said, I'm just gonna run this for a short bit of minutes and then we'll flush it back out again. Okay, y'all, we're back on the ground. We're ready to hit that button. Let's see what happens. Ah, oh, yeah. Right. Clutch in.
that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Whoa. Oh, that'll be a wrap for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Really excited we got it uh, running. All seems to be uh, about the same way we left it, so that's good. Nothing worse, nothing better. Uh, except for it runs good now, we got good oil pressure. Sounds great. I'm digging it. I hope you dig it too, and we'll see you next time.